In this video we're going to take a look at another database feature of Excel. We're going to take a look at sorting, but this time we're going to take a look at sorting based on more than one column. The column that's used to sort on is usually called a key column. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at sorting on multiple keys. So let's uh, let's get started here by uh, first we'll do a simple A to Z sort. Again we're on the data tab here in the sort and filter group and we're going to sort them alphabetically by last name. Okay. Now when we sort them alphabetically by last name you notice that there are um, a few places in here where we've got people with the same last name. We've got two Harrisons here and uh, normally you'd expect Henry to come before William. Uh, H comes before W. Um, but that's not correct. Uh, down here we've got two people named Johnson and in this case it did come out okay we got Andrew ahead of Lyndon um, and the reason that it's correct is just by chance uh, it's correct because in the original data Andrew came before Lyndon uh, likewise in the original data uh, William came before Henry and uh, so they will maintain whatever order they were in before we did the sort uh, if we look down here a little bit further we've got a couple of Roosevelt's uh, Theodore should come after Franklin, but because Theodore was first before we sorted, Theodore is first after we sort. So when you ask Excel to sort on a given column, it will sort on that column, but it does not look at any other columns at all. Um, if there are two values that are the same, um, they will be in the same order that they were in before we did the sort. So if you want to sort on more than one column, uh, then what you need to do is you need to go to this sort button up here and uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, you get this sort dialog box. Uh, first of all, uh, normally when you're doing this your data will have headers. That means the first row of the data is labels and should not be sorted. Uh, it should remain at the top all of the time. Um, so most of the time when you're doing this your data will have headers. Those will be the names of the fields that you're using. Okay, and then down here it tells you how it's going to sort. And because we just did a last name, or possibly because the cursor is in the last name column right now, uh, that's what it comes up with by default. And um, you can pick any column here that you want. Uh, you can have it sort on things other than values, but uh, I don't think very often you're going to do any one of these other three things. 99% uh, of the time you're probably going to sort on values. And it lets you choose the order. Uh, from A to Z or Z to A. So right now I'm sorting on last name and what do I do if the last names are the same? Well I have to go to look at the first name column and that's what this add level button up here is for. Click on add level and then tell it that if the last names are the same I want to sort on first name and I want to do values and I want to sort from A to Z. Okay let's click on OK now and I picked the wrong thing I meant first name. So first last name and then first name and then click on OK and you didn't see much of a change here but if we go down and look at the Harrisons Henry is now before William. If we go look at the Johnsons they should still be the same. Uh, they were the same before. Uh, and if we go look at the Roosevelt's they got switched. So Franklin is now before Theodore. So asking it to do a sort on more than one column uh, allowed me to get them in the order that I wanted. Now you can add uh, a number of levels here. I'm not sure if there's a limit in Excel on how many levels you can add, but in real life you're probably uh, not going to use more than, than three or four very often at all. Now let's cancel out of there for a second and uh, put the cursor back in, and just put it any place in the data. It doesn't really matter where. Uh, let's look. We're going to look at a three key sort this time. Uh, I want my data sorted first by major and within the majors I want them sorted by advisor and if they have the same advisor I want them sorted by the number of credits. I want the seniors at the top and the freshmen at the bottom so let's do that. Uh, click on our sort button and first thing I want to sort on is major so I can just change this and I want it to be alphabetical. Uh, if the majors are the same then I want to sort by advisor and alphabetical and then I need to add a level and if those are the same then I want to sort by credits and notice this changes right away. And I do not want smallest to largest. I want the seniors at the top, so I want largest to smallest. And click on that and click on OK. And now let's take a look at our data. Um, let's take a look at the um, 
business majors here. We've got quite a few of those. And um, first of all, they're in alphabetical order. They're after biology and they're before uh, chemistry and computer science. And within that, uh, I've got two advisors, and the one whose name starts with M comes before the one whose name starts with T. And now if we look at just the advisees for one advisor, uh, we go from 88 to 82, and it's in descending order. And that's how you sort on more than one key.